All right, so I've just been finagling with the audio levels for like 10 minutes straight. Um, I apologize for my complete and total absence. There are, I promise, there are good reasons for it. Uh, a combination of school, my job, requesting a million hours of me for no good reason, a risk of rain being slow and awful and stuff like that, and my computer just being a, 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 a butt, just being a big butt. But, all the butts apparently, all the butts today, Good news! Risk of rain updated. My computer's back on. My my new computer is here, and it's all constructed. So this is all great. I think I'm more excited about my computer than risk of rain updating, but still, risk of rain updated. And there's there's these two new characters, and there's a whole bunch of new items, and and also since this is on a new computer, all of my data has been wiped again. So I have to unlock everything again. I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> I'm going to do my absolute best to be more consistent this time around. I know I said that last time, but I, I really, really, I want to make this work. I got a whole bunch of new games that came free with this new computer. Um, I'm going to be considerably more serious about the Let's Plays now. Let's just go with that. And actually, my computer is a little bit too loud. The game audio was... Just, it was just loud, that's all. Okay, anyway. Unlike when I first started this series, I'm actually going to start in Monsoon Difficulty. Which is probably insane given how few items have been unlocked, and how I have none of the artifacts, but I'm gonna try it. I mean, why not, right? There's not really much to lose beyond my sanity. Oh my god, look how smooth this is, though. <laughs> it's so smooth that I'm just like, I'm in complete awe and I can't make a simple jump. I see you over there. Mm, come on, jellyfish. Seriously, though, in the lower right corner, you can still see the frame count. Whatever, whatever they did to update this game, it just... It's so... It's beautiful. It runs so perfectly. I have the graphics settings turned all the way up, for example. And I didn't have to do some sort of, like stupid finagling with the the graphic scale or whatever it was the zoom scale because my monitor is so large oh that's okay fall down here why don't you do that sand crab I'm just getting a little bit of farm on right now and I do see the teleporter so I might as well just go activate this thing and then probably promptly die because of reasons I'm interested in these. Magma Worm, that's... Kinda sort of what I was expecting. I should be saving those containers for some kind of healing. Because they contain healing in them when your health is lower than, you know, default. But I'm lazy. And that is a jellyfish, and you can go away now. Okay. There's a missile enemy somewhere in there. Ow. Yeah, these Lemurians are just so stupid, and I love it. They're not stupid, they're just kind of sort of trapped there. Yeah, so, so far this is going pretty well. Alright, so in the new update, they changed a lot of stuff, actually. Um, a lot of graphical updates, performance updates. There are missiles, and my volume is still too loud. I should probably just turn the game volume down entirely. Or at least the music volume. But, um, yeah, so... Ooh, nice, I already got gasoline. So, what was I saying? Right, right, there are two new characters to unlock. Which is sweet, obviously. Magma Worm. That's right, go away and die. Uh, let's see, two new characters. I believe there are ten new items that you can get. Although, obviously, you have to have them unlocked first. Which is fine. I don't expect a problem with that. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but the colors of elite enemies are different now. They're a lot more vibrant, so it's easier to tell them apart. I... I'm not sure whether or not I like that, but you know what? More, po more power to the developers, right? 
They made they made a fantastic game. They can do whatever they want with it. It's my job as the player to enjoy what they do. I think I'm gonna pull that off easily enough. Oh hello. Okay, so teleporting enemies are very, very bright yellow. Good to know. Hello everybody. It's quite a party down here. Sorry to break that up. That's okay. Uh, let's see. What else should I talk about? Well, how about my own agenda? So, I will obviously be continuing Risk of Rain Let's Plays, because I love this game so much, I can't not do it, right? And even though it's probably a terrible idea, I am going to go back and get some loot. Secret! <laughs> I love doing that. Barbed wire, that's nice. Something good? Eh, gold over time, whatever. I'm also going to be starting up several other series. So I have a ton of games in my Steam library that I haven't really touched, and I have a ton of games that I've touched, well, I've played probably way too much, just in general. So I'm going to be doing Let's Plays of all of them, or at least as many as I can. To start, that's going to be Risk of Rain here. I'm also going to do Awesome Knots. Um, I'm going to try and get back into the weekly Terraria streaming, although unfortunately I can never guarantee the time slot I would like. Let's see, what else? I'm going to start up a Let's Play of Fallout New Vegas as well. That was an awful lot of money, I have to say, for the first stage. Damp Caverns, okay. That's lovely. Which layout is this? I think this is the one with... Yeah, this is the one with the big old skeleton down at the bottom. I can't help but notice that they've... They've redone a lot of stuff. Huh. Interesting. That whole... All those uh, ledges over there off to the left, those are all... Those are, that's a different layout now, I think. I think. There are just more ledges in general. Okay, anyway. I'm going to be doing Fallout New Vegas. I will be buying the new Borderlands game soon, and I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of that. Because it's Borderlands, and I love Borderlands. And, no, and just... Uh, of, of all the games I've ever played, I'm pretty sure the Borderlands franchise of the Borderlands games are at the very top of my list. And if not at the very top, well, they're very close. <laughs> Actually, Golden Sun for the Game Boy Advance is probably higher. Hello, Teleporting Lemurian. You can just casually go away, please. Uh, what else? When I went and bought my new computer, um, Newegg.com gave me an AMD rewards card or something. A gold card. So I basically got three brand new games for free. Well, obviously not for free, but you know what I mean, right? Just like as a little, a little bonus. A thank you for spending, you know, $900 on their website. <laughs> and uh, with that, I got Saints Row 4, I believe? Saints Row 4 Darksiders, which I don't even know what that is, and Castle Siege 3 or something, I don't know. Just whatever games, right? Can you freaking imps just go away? Okay, Lens Vegas Glasses, that's nice. Chance to do double damage. Basically just a critical hit. Oops. Let's go... let's completely miss. Good plan. I am taking an awful lot of damage. I, I may or may not be at least a little bit rusty, I apologize. I'm just... just... I'm not used to seeing so much around me at any given time. This is kind of cool. You imps, seriously, can you just leave me alone, please? <laughs> I want nothing to do with you. Go away. Fine. Fine. I'll just let barbed wire kill you. Very slowly. Alright, time to- oh, hold on. I can afford this big chest. I'm gonna risk it, because I'm insane. Infusion! Oh, that's huge. Permanent health increase every time I kill an enemy. Basically, what I need to do right now, like, right now, right now, is find the teleporter, find a safe place to hide, 
and then get the hell out of this place. Because <laughs> I am getting wrecked. There are two big chests up here. In retrospect, I probably should have looked for the, uh... Oh, there's the teleporter. Probably should have checked to see if it was the uh, layout with the artifact in the last stage. Magma Worm. Magma Worm. Can you just, like, not, please? Oh, teleporting spitter. That is, like, the last thing I wanted to see. This is at least a little bit tense. Like I can't I cannot say that I'm not frightened right now by what is transpiring. Ah. Apparently I've forgotten how to avoid magma worms too. That's okay. That's totally okay. Everything is okay. The world is not on fire and I am not going to die. There we go. For now, I think all I can really do is just keep... keep avoiding them and tossing out Full Metal Jacket every now and then. Oh, Jesus. This is really bad. This is really bad. This is really... God damn it. You know what? I'm not surprised. Yeah, Spitter sniped me. That doesn't surprise me, but that also doesn't really concern me too much. Let's see. Um, I clicked the wrong thing. There is a new use item right there. I'm getting that. Because it's new, and I want it. So I actually have seen a bit of the new update. Um, Biznap, who is a, a Let's Player, well, I guess a more established Let's Player, you could say, uh, released an episode of his Risk of Rain LP, which featured the new update, and so I got to see what some of the new items do, and one of the new characters anyway. And I do remember actually a fair amount of what I saw when I was at PAX. I visited the Risk of Rain booth, risk visited their development booth, and got to check out stuff. It was pretty awesome. I had a really nice conversation with, uh, with the guys there. Just like last time, starting with a sprouting egg. That's nice, I guess. Alright, there is a fair amount of loot around, which means it would probably behoove me to actually spend some time farming, but I'm not going to bother. Especially because, I, because this is a new computer and everything's been reset, I have to unlock everything from scratch. I admit that is kind of annoying. But you know what? I will live. Another yeah, 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 yet again, magma worm. And sand crabs to boot. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to focus exclusively on the Magma Worm for now. Well, unless something gets too close, which seems to be happening with some relative frequency. And I missed the FMJ. Good job, Mac. Good job. There we go. Whoop. And I missed again. I swear I'm good at this game. Maybe I'm not good at this game. Okay, you are one of those fiery elites, which means I want nothing to do with you right now. Sand crab. Can you just go away, please? Uh, 
That's fine. Oh, come on, Magma Worm. One more hit. There we go. Ooh, hoo, hoo, Burning Witness. That's good. So, what Burning Witness does is when I kill an enemy, it um, increases my movement speed and makes me track fire. Which is, you know, kind of, sort of excellent. It's like spreading gasoline everywhere. Okay. Timers run its course. Yeah, look at that. Look at that fire doing work down there. In there. There's a wisp in that little crowd, so I don't want to mess with it right now. There we go. Considerably better. And there were some... Yeah, there was some... There's at least a sand crab up here. You know what? I'm gonna let you live for a little bit. Instead, I'm gonna go back, take out these things, and then grab as much of the loot as I can in as short a time as I can. Now, how did you get down here? Eh, yeah, minefield. It's a use item, at least. Okay, I'm not going all the way back. Let's see. Um, I'll take random. Gives me a mysterious vial. That's cool. Increased health regeneration. Timekeeper's secret. Slow down time when you get hit. Or rather, when your health falls to low amounts. Ooh, plasma chain. Nice. Not exactly, like, the best red tier item, but still okay. Oh, and then I missed the, the thing. Dang it. I remember I w when I was watching Biznap's video, um, you were able to just, he was able to just, like, hold up when walking towards a rope, and some of them he'd be able to just go up. Did that sand crab... Oh, no, 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 I knocked it off with some of my, with one of my attacks. Never mind. I was, I was gonna ask if it just somehow managed to go down the step right there, but, uh, eh, whatever. Okay, Sky Meadow. Um, I spawned sort of right in the middle, so I'm gonna start by going to the right, I guess. And there is immediately a parent following me. Oh my gosh, look at this luck. Look at that. That's 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 beautiful. Ancient Wisp. Oh, you know what I just realized? Use item. There we go. I forgot to change all of my controls back to the way they were. Alright, so this is already immediately very scary. Plasma chain. That's what that uh tether thingy is right there. Basically, um, when you hit an enemy, there's a chance that it will tether you to that enemy. And then the enemy will have that whole plasma chain, which damages everything that touches it. Okay. It's time to get out of there. Did I just see some enemies fly off into the distance? I did. Oh my gosh, what the heck are those children doing? And, and I'm not being weird, they are literally called ch child. That's their... that's what they are. Okay. I'm gonna get a monster tooth here. So when I kill an enemy, it heals me for 10. That was loud. It was cool, but loud. This is, this is okay, though. It's not going very poorly. I mean, it is actually going pretty poorly, but it's not, like, super awful. It's just, like, average bad. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. 
that's okay though, because I can shoot things. <laughs> Scary. Right, that takes care of those guys. What's the matter? Can parents not jump anymore? If that's true, that's actually kind of awesome. Yeah, yeah, I know you're right there. There we go. Alright, I am going to go look for some loot. That's a missile drone. I want that. Ooh, they changed the animation and the sound effect for that. Basically what I'm getting at from this what I'm getting from this update is that everything is prettier. Which is which is fantastic. Okay, if I'm gonna want any more loot, I'm gonna have to take these guys out. Get the mines in there. A few more FMJs for good measure. There we go. Nothing left but the ancient wisp and then Well, there's the ancient wisp and then what that spawns. What is this? Red Whip, move fast out of combat. Okay. All of those wisps down there is not something I want to mess with right now. Okay. That, that makes sense. I think. I, I, I admit, I do not fully understand what is going on right here. This is probably a glitch of some sort. Um, what I wouldn't give to be the engineer right now, seriously. Well, you know what, it looks like those things are basically stuck there, so I'm just going to ignore them. <clears throat> Move on out this direction and see what else I can find. Oh wow, that is a lot faster out of combat. Holy crap. Unfortunately, I don't think I can trigger those mines, otherwise I could get down to the artifact on this stage. That's okay, though. Mm. Mm. Nah, I like the minefield better. That thing just, uh, it's a use item that repairs all of your drones when on use. Which is really cool, but I only have the one drone and I think I like what I have more, the minefield. Okay. Yeah, this uh, Sky Meadow is usually pretty barren on loot. And then it gives me another use item. You know what, I'll pick it up just for the, just for the ability of having picked it up. So I really, I really do like what I have more. <clears throat> that thing just randomly freezes enemies on screen now and again for over the course of 8 seconds or something like that. Maybe it's more than that, I forget. Yeah, so it looks like don't take damage for a little bit and suddenly your movement speed is crazy. Oh, hey. And then permafrost. Chance to freeze enemy on enemies on hit. Is that all of them? No, it's not. There's more of those things up there? Come on. Go on, missile drone. Kill him. Oh. Okay. That was ridiculous and very strange. Well weird. Oh well, what can you do, right? Okay, so Sunken Tombs. Um, I remember hearing the artifact here. Oh, wait, that's new. What are you? Dynamite Plunger. Hitting enemies drops dynamite. Or hitting enemies drop dynamite. What? I'm gonna have to experiment and find out what exactly that means. Alright, I don't know if this is the stage where you unlock Accurate or not, but if it is, I'm gonna do that. Uh oh. <coughs> oh, Jesus. 
I don't know what that was. Okay. So using the... Wait, Blighted Clay Man? Already? Jesus. Um... That's... Extremely frightening. Using his skill... I don't know what that did. I saw a little bitty explosion. Oh god. This is bad. This is really bad. I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> Why is there a Blighted Clay Man already? Make it go away. Okay, so whatever this use item is, it appeared to just make a tiny explosion. Which is, like, really lame. Lovely. Failed another shrine. Yeah, so using a skill will stop the crazy movement speed as well. Alright, this is... So taking damage using a skill. Hmm. This is where we unlock Akrid, though. What the heck? Oh, I think I see. So when I hit an enemy, it will cause dynamite to drop, and then I detonate it by activating the item? That seems to be how it works. Seems to be, mind you. Okay. I'm leaving. I don't like this. Teleporter. Here we go. Oh, come on. Uh, I'm leaving again. Nope, nope. I've been slowed. The world slowed me. Oh god. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. I'm dead. Come on. Damn it. That's okay, though. That's that's okay. Okay. Complete the last stage in under or the first stage in under five minutes. Survive a boss with less than twenty percent health. All right. Um, I am actually gonna do what I did the first time, where I go to unlock things specifically in Drizzle. Well, nah, nah, let's not do that yet. I'll go one more monsoon. Desolate forest, okay. I'll go one more round as uh, with monsoon difficulty, see if I can unlock anything else. And, um, and I think at that point, depending on how long it takes, I'm probably just going to cut the episode then. Which is fine, I mean, I wouldn't want to go too long and waste all your time. Whoops. Wrong button. Gasoline. Good. I like getting that, getting early gasoline. Probably would have saved me in the last run, actually. Just the extra, the extra huge DPS boost. Um, given where I spawned, I think it's more likely the teleporter is going to be off to the right, so I'm going to head that direction first. Let's see what we find. You know, I'm really starting to miss the artifacts already. <laughs> That's unfortunate. What's with all these floaty, sparkly things? You know, I can't help but notice a striking resemblance between the Wisps in this game and the Wisps in, um, Rogue Legacy. I wonder why they're so similar. Weird. I guess there's probably just some, like, universal, um, design for Wisps. Energy Cell. Okay. Not the coolest, but whatever. Attack faster at lower health. Like, that's pretty sweet. Nope. Try not being stupid there, Nack. <laughs> it just ran right by him. Wow. Smart Lemurians are smart. Whoop. And then I fell off a friggin'. That's okay. 
I'm, I'm trying to get... See, for some reason, the teleporter isn't over this direction, so I'm just trying to get enough money to, uh... Open these chests up here. Which I think I'm going to be able to achieve. There, yeah, yeah, no, I'm already there. Open you. That's new. Oh, oh, I know what this does. This is, uh, yeah. Gives an extra jump. Which is, like, amazing. And it does actually stack with other... Whatever feather they are. I didn't exactly... I didn't read the complete name. But yeah, two jumps. That is amazing. Useful for negating fall damage too, I see. Okay, so it looks like the teleporter was up off and to the left. Up in that corner. Which is annoying as hell. But whatever. I'll just head that way. So we've seen three new items so far. The feather, the um... Whatever that rope or coil thing was that let me move really fast outside of combat. That was really nifty. Like, I would love to have one of those right now. And then, um... The dynamite thing. I'm only gonna... Well, no, I can play it once more. Okay, so gold over time. Heal quickly if I just stand still for two seconds. Which is pretty sweet. Why does my attack speed feel so high right now? Give me random, and the teleporter happened to be here instead. Okay, so I activated that way later than I would have liked, but that's okay. Look at this, I can just keep jumping. Colossus, you are not a concern at all. You guys are, however. And I'm actually, even though uh, tier 1 attack drones are pretty awful, I'm going to buy it anyway. Because it's extra DPS and it attacks automatically. Alright, Colossal Neural, that's nice. Huge defensive buff, basically. There are a lot of Lemurians marching around down there. You know what? Since I've taken so long on this level, I might as well go look for more loot, right? Let me just take out these two. And I guess this guy as well. Because I can, right? That's correct logic. Interesting. Jumping off a rope counts as your second jump. Uh, let's see. Extra healing would be nice. First aid kit. This is actually going surprisingly well so far. I mean, I'm taking more damage than I'd like. And there goes my drone. It's dead. <laughs> what a surprise, right? Let's see. Is there any loot up here? I really want there to be something. Okay, there's a couple shrines. There's three shrines. That's different. Nice, and I got the behemoth too. Sweet. The brilliant behemoth is an excellent, excellent item. So all of my attacks explode now. You know what? Sure, I'll take this. Why not? I'm honestly not 100% certain how it works, but that's why I'm taking it, to look around, to experiment, figure it out. I am so freaking screwed, seriously. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, see, so now there's dynamite littering the ground. Look at all that dynamite just flying everywhere. And then I do this. Oh, that's how it works. Oh my god, that has potential to be extremely overpowered. Um, real quick, I'm actually gonna... Turn that down. Because the behemoth explosions were very loud. You know what? I'm actually not necessarily completely screwed yet. Just, just, given the fact that I have the Behemoth and a Colossal Neural, and an extra jump, I'm actually in, a con in considerably better shape than you might think. And I'm coming back down here because I'm stupid. Be good? Ah, uh, Heaven Cracker, that's excellent. So now every fourth shot is going to pierce infinitely, which does stack with the Behemoth. So, infinite piercing, and when I say shot, I mean shot of the basic attack. See, so watch. Pew. So there's regular shot, regular shot, regular shot, bam. That pierces infinitely until it hits a wall. That is so amazing. Potentially one of the best items I've ever seen in this game, actually. If you use it right. Alright, we get another monster log. I got one earlier and just forgot to mention it. Off the edge! Bonk. Damp caverns. Again. Lovely. Why does this layout feel different? Well, whatever. I need to make my immediate priority finding the teleporter, so I can have some chance of getting out of here with a decent time. I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to bother farming anything. I'd like to, but I won't. You're in my way. I apparently lied. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, they're sticking to the ceiling. Boom. That's that's really cool. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I don't care. Yep, just as I suspected, there's a lot of loot lying around. Actually, with this one second jump, it might be enough to uh, reach the place where the, um, what's it called? Where the artifact is on this stage. I mean, it is only the distortion artifact, so it's not too exciting, but... I am playing this Hell Shrine because I'm insane. Are we gonna do it again? Doing it again. Ooh, a new thing, Frost Relic. Oh yeah, I've seen this. Again, I, I saw it in Biznav's video. So, killing an enemy, it's, it's vaguely similar to the charge field, actually. Vaguely. I'll, um, show you later when I actually kill something. Well, here, this thing's right there. So you kill an enemy, and it doesn't, like, get any bigger when you kill an enemy again, but I need to not be in that cloud. It does that. And those things damage enemies. Aren't they so pretty, though? Those things are pretty. Every time you kill an enemy, you'll get a set of those. It lasts for six seconds, I think, something like that. Okay. Oh, come on. Go up. I really need to hurry. Yeah, there's no artifact on this layout. Dang it. And then sprouting egg. That's actually going to be kind of useful.
Look at that. Just covering my tracks 110%. With all that dynamite. Okay, I'm gonna get a crowbar. So I do extra damage to um, enemies that have above a certain threshold of health. I don't know exactly... Sorry, that was really scary. I don't know exactly what the threshold is. Oh, hey, look at this. Actually, with the Behemoth, Night of the Magma Worm shouldn't be that big of a deal. I mean, it shouldn't. And with this use item, too, if I can lure it to exactly where I need it. That was, that was close. Yeah, Heaven Cracker Behemoth combo is amazing. Look at all those frost relics around me, though. It's so cool. It's, seriously, though, it's so pretty. No, nope, I wasn't paying attention. Yes, yes, it was absolutely my fault. I am stupid. Okay. Good to know. Well, um, I think that's that's gonna do it for today. I I managed to accomplish all of all, all of like nothing. Is this all the items really? So this is the red whip, that's what it's called. 80%, damn. I know exactly why you want these, and I want you to never tell me. That's scary. Sent to elderly, an elderly home on Venus. Oh my gosh. That's frightening. Okay, now this thing is really cool. I like that. I like that thing a lot. Uh, let's see. These are some new ones we encountered as well. This thing. This is cool. This is really cool. Let's see. And then the, the Hapu Feather. Hopu Feather? Not exactly sure what that means, but okay. And then the rest of these, we already know what they are. So, yeah, cool stuff. That looks really intriguing. Alright, well, that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching, and I will see you... That is a very weird graphical glitch. I will see you all next time.